This is a continuation in a video series on the Ralph steam engine. In this video, we are machining the safety valve for the steam engine boiler. The safety valve is an essential component that ensures that the steam pressure in the boiler is maintained within safe operating limits. The boiler is pressure tested to double its normal operating pressure to ensure a safe margin of operating error. Construction notes describing the part and the machining operations can be found at the Eclectic Builds website, listed in the description. To start, some hexagonal brass stock is mounted in a three-jaw chuck. The stock is faced off and turned down to a circular cross-section to fit into the valve bushing we machined in an earlier video. The hex profile is relieved to remove the sharp edges and allow a wrench to be used to tighten the safety valve. The outside edge is then threaded using a die held in the tailstock of the lathe. The safety valve body is parted off from the hex stock and then remounted in a collet chuck holding it by the threaded end. The collet chuck provides very even work holding so the threads are quite safe. The other end of the safety valve body is then faced and drilled through. A four flute end mill is used to create a flat bottom in an enlarged center hole. This is where the round ball of the valve stem will be seated. The hole through the safety valve body is reamed out. and the top edges turned down, mostly for decoration. A brass ball bearing is held in a collet chuck and a flat is turned to allow the center of the ball to be drilled and tapped. A brass rod is threaded using a smaller die. The ball bearing is tested on the threaded rod and the two parts are joined to form the safety valve stem. A stainless steel ball bearing the same size of the brass ball is dropped in the safety valve body and tapped sharply with a hammer to seat it. This forms a recess in the bottom that the brass ball will fit snugly against. The valve stem is inserted into the valve body to test for fit. Using the same brass rod, 
that the valve stem was machined from earlier, bronze wire is wrapped to form a spring. Finding suitable wire for spring making can be challenging, but the Ralph Construction Notes list some sources that may help you. I found what I needed in a musical instrument supply store. The valve stem is inserted into the spring and a brass nut applied to fix it. Tension on the spring is important for the safety valve to operate correctly and open at the required pressure level. This can be checked by pressing the valve and spring against an electronic scale to determine the correct resistance. This is described further in the Ralph Construction Notes and the Tubal Cane book on the Poly Steam Engine. Please like this video to increase the number of people who will get to see it. And if you'd like to see the Ralph Steam Engine come to life in further videos, hit the subscribe button.